32. Luis Pena standing at six foot three inches tall. Simone five foot nine. Luis Pena, oh, they both weighed in at 158 pounds, and Pena will have a three inch reach advantage, 74 inches to 71 in Simone's corner. And we'll go to Andy. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for this feature bout of the evening, brought to you by Chime. A professional catchweight belt scheduled for three rounds, five minutes apiece. Introducing to you first, in the red corner, with a professional mixed martial arts record of 12 and 6, he stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, and he weighed in at 158 pounds. From Cabot, Arkansas, he's representing Pena MMA and Cabot Boxing. Make some noise for the violent Bob Ross. Luis Pena! And now, introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner with a professional record of six and three. He stands five feet nine inches tall, and he weighed in at 158 pounds. From Vancouver, Washington, he's representing ATT Portland. Make some noise for John Simone! When the action begins, our referee in charge of this fight is Tommy Santana. Let's go, boys. I am so excited for this fight, even though there was very limited noise with no familiarity amongst the crowd for either of these two fighters. But we are in for a treat with these two high-level athletes. It's a big takedown for right Simone in. early in the white trunks. That was awesome, man. He's, he went in right for a single. Gave him one type of pressure, then counted it with a big lift. Beautiful. Great takedown. Bob Ross immediately looking to make something happen from the bottom. That isn't really Bob Ross. That's Luis Pena, but the true, violent true. Bob Ross is the thing. <laughs> I just can't help We it. don't have Bob Ross back from the dead fight in the cage. You got to say it at least once. <laughs> a great nickname. <laughs> <laughs> Luis Pena shooting up for submissions. The violent Bob Ross. John Simone making it nasty here, putting uh, Pena's neck between the cage and the canvas, not comfortable whatsoever. Pressure with his head here. And let's talk about the flow both of these guys are rocking for for head dudes. Oh yeah, I gotta appreciate it. Mullet Nation, baby. Pena with the high guard instead of wall walking up. Simone with a nice short elbow there and another one. And this is kind of what he likes to do. This is the wrestling game plan implemented right out the gate. Top pressure. Picking and choosing some shots. For sure, man. Especially against a you know a technical striker like like Pena, where he's so long limbed. Just keep him on his back. Staying safe too, because we know Pena's got some sneaky subs. Yeah, that right hand is definitely adding up. Pena looking for some high guard here. He's got... Interesting strats here. It's not mission control. It ain't rubber guard. It's something. Something working on controlling the posture and creating an angle maybe. Showcasing some flexibility with his head tucked up against the fence. At the very least, it minimizes the damage coming in from uh, Simone here. Yeah, Keep his posture down. 100%. He's not giving him any space to posture up and land any significant blows, but not doing much in terms of getting out either. I don't know if he's looking to lull the referee into standing them up. Nice elbow there from Simone. Right elbow for Simone. Another nice shot from John Simone. 
Ooh, step over there. Yeah, gets by. Got into side control. With Pena pinned up against the fence in this side control. Pena uses his legs to crawl around the cage here. Crawled underneath and tried to get the guard back, but Simone back in side control on the other side now. Pretty much been where the whole round has been so far. Oh, buggy. From side control there? Interesting, man. Trying to open it up with a big slam here. Is that like cinched up sure tight? How I mean, tight that it, it's is, like tight man. enough. I've never actually seen it finish Ooh. in real life, but there was probably the closest attempt I've seen with my own naked eyes. He's got the limbs to do it. Pena looking like he's trying to use the cage to get up here, but he can't give up his back. He's got to scrape Simone as he's getting up. Not give him too much control over the back. It's a nice draw by Pena. Yeah, Simone sticking with that, those underhooks, though. Pena back to his feet. Let's see if he can separate space, though. Turns him around here. And imagine Pena wants to break off. Big elbow. Oh. Body then upstairs from Simone. All Simone round one. Once he got that takedown, that top pressure, just flowed into the ground and pound and the transitions and advanced position and Stayed in control and dictated the entirety of the round as the lovely Mandy gets us ready for round number two. Absolutely, man. That was an intelligent round for Simone. Followed the game plan accordingly. Put Pena on his back. Stopped all the striking. Pena, when he did get up finally, man, he, I know he, he tried a couple little sneaky subs there. Didn't really work in his favor. He finally gets up, turns him, separates in mid, an open canvas, and lands a uh, head kick off the, uh, off the guard. No stool taken from Luis Pena. Deciding to stay standing, keep the blood flowing in the legs, posturing up a little bit. He certainly needs to avoid being put on his back. And if he does end up on his back, he's got to showcase some urgency getting back up as opposed to laying there trying to play the submission game that didn't work out for him in the first five minutes. And for John Simone, they broke, don't fix him. Get him back down, chip away. Here yep. we go. Pena right out to the middle. Nice jab to the body, then coming upstairs from John Simone. Like I said, when he starts fighting at a striking range, he's really good at slipping his head off the center line and countering, but he's looking to not counter strike with Luis Pena, just going right back into the shot as Pena tries, uh, now what's the technical term for this? I mean, you could say like crotch lock. Or... Yeah, 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 there we go. Big lift. He let go of that crotch lock, and there was the opportunity for Simone to sink his hands together under the butt and score a high amplitude takedown again. But Pena trying to angle off with that crotch lock, but he's back down on the mat. He's on his own butt. Might pay dividends for Pena to put his heels to his butt and kind of get his hips down to get his legs back. But it looks like Ricky, uh, sorry, John Simone's got his legs locked here. Oh, he's out. Oh, elbow off the break. Yeah, nice little job with the strike off the break and getting up from Luis Pena. That was exactly the adjustment he needed to make. Instead of oh. staying stagnant there, he, he used some craftiness of his build and his jiu-jitsu to get back up. And Simone in on another shot now. And this has just been the story of the fight. Pena looking for another angle. Simone's got some solid wrestling, man. He changed together different types of pressures in order yeah. to finish the takedown. It's yeah, nice. it's been a couple of times he's, he's thrown a change up in the middle of chain wrestling to secure the takedown. And now he's looking for that Dagestani handcuff right in front of us. Never mind, he's looking for the choke. And good Ooh, awareness for that elbow. Yeah, that one stung, but Simone ate it. This jab staying long here. Yeah, Payne is starting to get some get some hands moving now. He's so it seems like. Go ahead. His boxing starting to look like it's coming together just just in the past couple of seconds. He's starting to land some nice punches on Simone. Came in with a knee there. 
Lead up a cut, shovel up a cut, pop it a couple jabs. Just touch it. Yeah, exactly, but that's all you need sometimes, just to get the respect back and stop your opponent from taking you down. Like we said a few times here, Simone likes to slip and rip off of uh, Pena's strikes here. It seems like Pena might want to faint out a, a, his own strike to, to get a reaction out of Simone. Probably a level change out of Simone. Well, the slipping and ripping comes when you're throwing power shots, but Pena just kind of pawing them with those strikes. Doesn't really give you something to slip and rip off of. They're just coming so fast and nothing really on them, but there's just pop, pop, pop. Calf kick swerking. Straight, long punches by Pena. Those yeah. are nice. Getting his head offline. He's really keeping Simone at the end of his range now. Ooh, ooh, oh, nice leg kick that. Simone. He's feeling that. Yeah, he stumbled a little. Oh, he went to check. Oh, oh another hey. one. Those another aren't feeling one. good. No, he doesn't like that at all. Simone looking nice with the leg kicks and to see if that helps with the takedown. The leg being a little compromised there. Another takedown for John Simone. It's a nice, nicely timed too. He gets him thinking about strikes, gets him thinking about his leg. Oh, indeed. Simone now in side control again. Pena's almost got like a bicep crush, it looks like. Uh, it looks like a more, oh, now, now he's got like a weird crucifix angle here. He's got to watch the placement of those. Can't hit the back of the head no matter where you are, but there's no way he's hitting the 12 to 6 elbow. But that might be a weird bicep. Right. It's probably not comfortable, but I don't think it's going to finish. No. Doesn't quite have the torque to really get that bicep crusher with just that angle there, but he's out nonetheless. Is John Simone? Ooh, these are heavy. Those are big shots. Yeah, right on the ear with the head pinned to the mat. Those are thunderous. Great work by Pena to get up, though. Interesting round here. Well, ten minutes down, five or less to go through two rounds between Luis Pena and John Simone. And we see that top pressure of John Simone really being the deciding factor and the differentiator in between these two competitors. The explosive takedowns. Both guys in great shape, neither one of them breathing too heavy. They're both certainly representing a, a certain level of professionalism and athleticism with the way that their cardio was held up through this. Both look like they've been there before because they have. Pena's eyes are locked on Simone right now. Very focused indeed, but he's got to make some serious adjustments. He wants to sneak away with the win here because John Simone, in my opinion, should be ahead on the scorecards. He's pretty much dictated uh, the placement of this fight. But Pena started getting off with some boxing. He just needs to up the output, maybe sit in, sit down on some of these punches like he's doing right now. He's had a big combination early and already getting the calf kick involved is Simone. Oh, inside trip attempt. Pena saying true to double underhooks here. Pena looking for a takedown of his own. He wants to upgrade. Oh, oh big knee. knee. Blocked, but definitely he felt the impact of that. Great angle on that shot. Beautiful. But well done from Pena getting back up immediately.
Pena getting his hands locked with the double unders here. I imagine he's gonna look for some body lock takedown here. Simone being such a great wrestler, man, he's got a good sense of his hips too. Yeah, it's an interesting decision to try to win this fight by wrestling right mm -hmm. now against someone that, with such a high caliber wrestling pedigree. Ooh, very nice break. elbow. Spinning big. elbow attack. Big fly, fly knee, knee from Pena. Oh my gosh, these guys. He faded the, he faded right. the looping uppercut to land the fly knee to Luis Pena. I've never seen that, that was cool. He's that was he's O'Malley. a beautiful picture here. He's battling Bob Ross in this third round. I gotta admit, I gotta concur with that right now. He's starting to piece things together here, but he still might need a finish, in my opinion. John Simone has been looking great thus far. Yeah, and I now he's be, showcasing his chin. I'd be striking right now if I were Pena. Good elbow off the rip. Oh, oh, that one landed nice. Oh, oh, that one landed too nice too. Time. You spin, I spin. Oh, oh Kepke drops him. Oh, that almost, knee almost just made this fight much different. Yeah, he kind of stepped, stepped into top pressure there instead of throw that knee. But nice bite on that under hook from Pena to get back up, trying to trip him now. But the leg kicks that he was landing earlier paid dividends certainly with that leg kick that dropped him. Now on a guillotine, but the hips aren't really at the right angle, but if anybody can do it, shift it into place. Never mind, he relinquishes the submission attempt. Two minutes to go here in the last round. Simone keeping that wrestling pressure on top. Getting his licks in. Pena's going back to just controlling the posture here, but high guard again for Pena, but not really digging a submission attempt. And now he's got that body triangle. Yeah, with a, with a minute and 20 to go here, Pena's gonna work up or really toss up a, a solid submission or. Simone's just doing a good job of keeping him down here. Pena was about to give his back and then laid flat again to prevent it. It's a chess match. Trying for the switch, but Simone, John Simone just riding the position, taking the back. And this has kind of been the story of the fight once it gets here. Hands are clasped, gets the takedown again. John Simone carrying his way. Yeah, Luis Pena might have landed the most concussive blow of the fight with 10 seconds to go. But John Simone toughed it out, got a takedown through it anyways. We go the distance, three hard fought rounds. We gotta wait to see what the three judges say about it. Wow. Yeah, man, what a fight. Two high level guys getting in there. A lot of the time, you know, it, it, it kind of was a little bit of a technical chess match when it was on the ground, because Pena knew that in certain positions that he wanted to explode to get up, he would have sacrificed back control and stuff like that. Um, so, Pena tried to keep it on the feet. Simone had great wrestling, good, great chain, great job chaining together different takedowns, different types of pressures when he did on the high crotch and the single leg, going for low ankle single uh, ankle picks. And uh, you know, once he was on top, he had great ground uh, ground control, ground and pound, and kind of dictated the fight when it was when it was in those positions.
not show respect. Andy was getting crafty in that last round, man. He was throwing that flying knee, spinning back fist, faking this big YI auto right hand for a flying knee. Wild. And then when they went spinning back fist for spinning back fist. Oh, uh, yeah. That was fun. And Pena cracked, cracked him over here. I thought that he could maybe get the finish with 10 seconds left, but Simone so crafty on that takedown. Ladies and gentlemen, how about it for these two? After three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this fight, 30-27, giving you your winner by unanimous decision, John Simone! Oh, oh, oh. John Simone getting the nod from the judges with a unanimous, unanimous decision as Luis Pena takes off the Cage Titans gloves and puts him in the middle of the cage. I don't know if that's announcing his retirement or not, but if it was, man, you had incredible fights through your career, man. And you were very, very entertaining to watch, especially in this fight with some of the crafty strikes.